Hey everybody, welcome to Grilling with the Guru. We got Kevin St. Marie right here, so that means it's burger night. What kind of burgers, Kurt? We got Mexican burgers, we got Greek burgers, we got American burgers. Grilling with the Guru starts right now. Right now. Welcome back to Grilla with the Guru. I am your host, and this is Kurt Guillory, the co-host. My name is Keith Gidry, and we got Kevin over here. Kevin. How you doing? I'm doing great, man. Welcome to the <laughs> show. And, and, and let me see, say something. Uh, I, I know a little bit about you. you. You're kind of a hamburger freak. Uh, I, I like hamburgers a lot. Okay. A lot. <laughs> a lot. That's no, no, that's not what you told us off camera just a second yeah. ago. You said that you've been eating a hamburger a day since you were how old? About 10. 10. About 10. Okay. So you're like, I would consider that an expert. I I don't know if it's an expert, but I certainly can taste just about anything you can, you can put in. <laughs> Man's well, asking for a curveball. We're, we're, we're going to push him to the limit tonight. Hey, we got some stuff, guys. We got the Cajun grill going. We have some onions that are caramelizing. Not, no, we're not grilling them. Not sauteing them. No, 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 no. Caramelizing. No, no. We're caramelizing the onions. We have some different meat mixtures. We got some pico de gallo that's already made. We got fresh breadcrumbs. We already talked to you about this several shows. Right. We're gonna make our own mayonnaise. Yes, we are. Because some our own mayonnaise is better than store-bought store -bought mayonnaise. mayonnaise. Yeah. Now, now talking about meat, what, what kind of meat you had me buy right here? Okay. First of all, ground chuck. Love ground chuck. Everybody knows ground chuck. Everybody knows ground chuck, and they say, well, ground chuck's naturally lean. That's true, but that's not how ground beef works. Right. They grind the beef and then they mix a certain amount of beef fat to get whatever percentage fat wise, content you 80, want. 20, 75, 25. 80, 20 seems to be the, the sweet spot. Right. If you go 73% lean, uh, then you have too much fat and it's hard to control the fire and you got a lot of shrinkage. If you go less than 20%, you're losing the flavor and you're losing some moisture. Right. So we like 80, 20. And, but what's, what's all this other stuff? We have some ground uh, turkey. No, okay, oh, turkey. Boy, you didn't tell me you could get neutral. Well, we can work on that on another show. <laughs> um, you ever I, had that, Kevin? I have not eaten neutral. Neutral <laughs> burger. Ground turkey and ground pork, and we're gonna mix yeah. them together, and it's kind of a healthier thing because the pork is actually 90-10. Right. Okay? And the turkey, of course, is very lean. There's almost no fat in it. So, but the real trick to this is we're gonna have to add something to the, to the meat Give it some body. To give it some body and so it won't dry out. Right. But we can do that. We have our friend right here. That's our right. Our friend the breadcrumbs. The French bread. The, the French bread breadcrumb. The French bread oh, breadcrumb. And Kevin just brought that from Bobby. From Bobby at <laughs> well, Longlinays. Your Long Lane. Long Lane's bakery. Bobby. Thank you so Thank much. Thank you, Bobby. I think I ate half a loaf. <laughs> yeah, he did. <laughs> it's so good. And then look, the thing that's gonna make our burgers a little bit different than anybody else is the way we're gonna top them. We're gonna top them with some pico and some avocado to make like a Mexican burger. We're gonna make some tzatziki sauce, which is tzatziki. that white, that's that white cucumber Greek sauce that you that you get in Greek and Lebanese food. So oh. good. Oh yeah, Reagan, you like that too, huh? Oh yeah, my daughter's in the house. Your daughter's man. in the house, Ray yes, Ray. Yes, she is, Ray Ray. Okay, uh, we got some beautiful purple onions sliced up right here. We have some feta cheese, we have blue cheese. That's right. Good. Now we don't waste nothing, right? I mean, no. so so you're doing the 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 caramelized onion with the white onions, right? The white onions, that's but right. When we're cutting these, you know, you, you don't put the center part on no. the hamburger, so we actually pop these out and threw it in the pot with the with we're the white onions. We're not gonna throw them away. No, we don't use no, we use everything. So we got to get into it. That's right. Let's go. We so got look, to get into it. You want to go now or you want to go to a commercial? Let's go to commercial when we come back, guys. Catch your breath. <sighs> go to the bathroom. That's right. Relieve Wash your yourself, hands real get good. Something to drink. So when y'all, when we come back, we're gonna start mixing, making patties, and on the grill. Come back, see us. Welcome back to the show, guys. Keith. We got look. What's the Kevin Cox thing right there? Burger time, burger time. Okay, so just to recap, this is some 80/20 ground chuck. We cracked the egg in it for a binder. We have our fresh breadcrumbs that we're going to incorporate in a second. And we got some nice little seasoning on there, right? Some yeah, cayenne, some cayenne seasonal. Back in. We got mm -hmm. some kosher salt. We did the same thing here, but this is a mixture of pork and turkey. Pork and turkey. That's right. Okay. So uh, uh, 90 10 ground pork and ground turkey. Okay. So Pound what's each. the proportion that you mix in the breadcrumbs with the meat? Uh, BLD. About like that. About like that. <laughs> <laughs> Just till it, just till it tightens up. Just till it holds together. You so don't must, want. You I'm don't want to start, with that, start with that. What we always say is easier to add than it is to right. subtract. 
clarify, that's not mozzarella cheese. No. <laughs> no Kevin did think, he said, wow, that's some good looking cheese. I said, yeah, well, you know, as soon as we get some. It looks just like cheese. All right, so we're going to do this. Mix it we're going to mix good. it up. We got some onions caramelizing on the, uh, on the on the grill right now in a pot. We're going to make uh, where well, we made. So Y'all saw when we uh, at the beginning we made some pico de gallo. Pico de gallo is a traditional Ooh. Mexican. Oh, easy there, boy. Bro. Look, I'm going rough, bro. It's a traditional uh, Mexican condiment, and the proportions are really easy. It's what well, the ingredients are easy. Just think about the Mexican flag. Right. White onion, red tomato, green cilantro, and jalapeno. That's it. Beautiful. Add some salt, lemon, and lime juice, and you got it. Now, that so, look firm enough for you? That looks good to me. That looks good for me. You don't want making a burger. I know. Now, okay, well, this was a, a roughly a pound of meat. Right, Kevin? You don't like no girly burgers. I mean, how, you like what, like half pound I mean, burgers? Eight, ounce. eight, eight ounce. ounces, baby. Now, how do you know if you got it seasoned enough? That's a good that, question. That should be three patties. That should be three patties. The way, everybody has a different way. I have no problem tasting raw ground meat. It doesn't bother me. Get out of here. Some people do, and that's okay. I will not taste raw turkey and, and pork. You can believe it. So if you you can smell it, and if your nose is sensitive enough, you can pick up seasoning. Hey, that's good. But if not, just make your little patty, throw it on the grill, cook it real quick. Rather do that than make than make all those patties, cook them, and it's under seasoned. You know now, what I mean? Now we pre-seasoned it, and it's, the seasoning right now is in the meat. But I also like to throw a little bit on top, just to give it a little bit of extra. Uh uh. Dusty. Dusted. Okay, so here's a common, common little question Kevin, I get. Can you put me a little bit of breadcrumbs in there, please, Bob? Okay, just well, grab some, you some, some people when you go to a more. restaurant, that there's no rhyme or re you. reason when you see the patty. It's got like all these frayed edges, and then you see some people. They make them so pretty and round. They take the little thumb and oh, yeah. kind of work it real good. Is there any benefit to that, Kirk? None. None whatsoever. It doesn't hurt the moisture in and that. In preparation for the show, I, uh, I was looking at uh, at some articles, and I saw one on, on commonly held burger myths. And this one I had always suspected, but I never had any confirmation till today. Yeah, sticking the <laughs> making the button in the middle where you press it your thumb. Shrink. And you so it doesn't shrink. So it well, it'll shrink uniformly. All right. Nope. Nope, nope. Do that. nothing to it. That has that has no validity whatsoever. So, all right, guys. Uh, and another thing is, you don't want to work your burgers to death. Okay? If you keep working and working and working, the first thing you're going to do, the heat from your hands is going to start to melt the fat, and you're going to lose some of that. Yeah, the second want. thing is, you're going to develop the proteins in the meat, and it's going to make your burger tough. Okay? So, and the fresh breadcrumbs. Does that answer your question, Reagan? You asked who's the brains behind the show? No. That's what is the scientist behind the show? <laughs> So what happens with the breadcrumbs is <clears throat> not only do they help protect moisture because they absorb some of the moisture from the meat, they also promote flavor because it's beautiful Cajun French bread <clears throat> and they hold it together. So yeah. it's, I mean, why would you not use breadcrumbs? They also tenderize the meat because they keep the protein chains from bonding together. <laughs> listen, listen back there, listen. Dylan, Dylan, come look at that. Bruh, bruh. And if ever you've smelled caramelized onion, there's nothing there's like nothing it. There's nothing like it. There's, there's nothing, nothing like, like it. Caramelized onion make you want to eat burgers, I guarantee you. Oh. They make you want to eat anything, I promise you. They good. Now, now Kevin, talking about burgers and, and your expertise of eating hamburgers, uh, you know, I, I, you know I, some of the places that you like to, to frequent because you feel that they have <laughs> a really good hamburger, I mean, I know it's hard to single them out. Um, you just rather take the fit? I mean, at, this is kind of how I feel about the whole expert thing. Everyone has a taste. Mm -hmm. And no one person is going to say this is the best. I, I don't say that. I mean, I, I like to ask people where they like to eat. Mm -hmm. And I kind of understand what they like. Right. And at that point, I'll put on five places that she's going to try. I mean, you already had that conversation right. at that fundraiser. Right. Yeah, that's exactly what you told so, me. Yeah. I think you told me a place, and I, I, I actually said uh, Bon Creole in Liberia. Mm -hmm. Um, was was one of them for sure. I, 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 the Dixie Burger and Scott at Cape Town is, is, is it's phenomenal. Yeah, really absolutely um, delicious. I would say. But you got to say Judy's then because I like that's, Judy's. I mean, that's just a tradition. I, I, I go there at least once every probably eight days. Just a simple, yeah. straight up. Hey, I'll give you another. Hamburger. I'll give you another one too, and I want to tell you this, and you might probably already know the Exodated Burger at the Rice Palace in Crawley on Sourdough. It's you got, really good. Mercy. That is a good burger. And you can get they gave you uh, uh, No, I they did. They gave you some money to say that. <laughs> People don't that. You can get that burger 24 hours a day at the rice pot. That's right. Hey, guys, we got to go to break, okay? 
So when we come back, burgers on the grill, onions, we're gonna start making sauces. Mm, it's burger time. It's smelling good. Y'all come back now. <laughs> Welcome back. Great, Kurt. Look, we got the patties we made. We did some work. We Magic got, TV. And, and, and you and Kevin getting ready to make some homemade mayonnaise. We're going to make our own mayonnaise. OK, so while, while you're doing that, I'm going to put this on the grill. Get to it. And y'all have fun. We got the boat motor, guys. We got the little blender, right? So the first thing that inside the jar is two egg yolks and one whole egg, or one egg, whole egg, and a yolk. Two cloves of garlic, some salt, and about two tablespoons or a tablespoon and a half of fresh lemon juice. Don't use the bottled kind, no. All right, so Kevin, I need, pour me just a little bit, just a few little drops, a few little drops, just to get started. There you go, that's good. Okay, so we're gonna start, it's gonna get a little noisy, so I'm gonna speak up. So we're gonna get it going, and we wanna get it to a pale yellow color. Right now you can see it's, it's yellow like an egg. So we're gonna let it buzz a little while. So it starts to lighten up. And it's almost there. You have to use room temperature eggs. If you use cold eggs, it doesn't work. Gee, what you putting on the thing, Bob? Okay, when we, we were off camera, we were, it in. we were cutting the uh, cutting the avocados up, and I was telling you Just that, like that. I, I squeezed, I must have squeezed a hundred of them, Kurt. A hundred? A hundred avocados, and they were all nice and Still green, man. So look, what we did is we, we cut, we no, cut no, no. them in half. Can you see that deal? Now look at them. Nice and soft. Just we like just that. put them on the grill, kind of charred them up a little bit. Now we're going to cut these up and part of the Mexican version of our hamburgers, we're going to put a little avocado on. Ole. But Kevin said he, he, ain't be, he, ain't, he ain't messing with no avocado. But we got two other kind of hamburgers we're cooking, so take your pick. And then looking at the yellow bowl right there to y'all right. Oh yeah, yeah. That's some tzatziki sauce. Tzatziki, like Kawasaki? No, the Kawasaki is Japanese. Tzatziki is Middle Eastern. Oh my goodness. Huh? Yes, sir. Cute. So how do we make that? How do you make it? Two cucumbers. Deseeded them. Seeded, mm -hmm. yeah, peeled and seeded. Right. 20, uh, 23 ounce uh, container of Greek, plain Greek yogurt. No has flavored. To, has, and it has to be Greek, because right. Greek has a lot less water in it. Right. And then uh, the juice of a lemon, some parsley, Seasoning. And some, and some, we use Cavender's uh, Greek seasoning. Any kind seasoning. of Greek seasoning. And voila. Voila. That's it. Kevin said uh, yeah. he, he'd like to put Keep that up. on some taco meat. That would be good on taco meat. What? And Reagan was sitting there off, off camera <laughs> trying to, I think she had a little thumbs up, man. How's that coming right there? Uh, we got mayonnaise. <laughs> huh? Right before yawn. That's good, Kevin. Thank you very much. And look. Boop. Beautiful. Just like real mayonnaise. Beautiful. Now, if y'all noticed, when I was putting them hamburgers on, Dylan, we got some traditional round hamburgers, and then Kurt with his uh, mixture of turkey and pork, <laughs> and me with the ground beef, yeah. uh, ground round. We, we made some kind of oval shape, and that's because we're going to use those uh, on pull boy buns. So here's your traditional round one, and then here and here, you got your ovalized ones that we're gonna use for kind of a Cajun poor boy hamburger. How you like that? Why are we gonna do that, Keith? Because we can. Because we can. Oh, this is beautiful, man. Look at that. Huh? Look at the marks. Oh, that's pretty. Well, that's a fancy spatula you got oh, right there. This spatula, let me tell you, you know how old this is? No. About 30 years old. Oh. We used to sell them. Jake Evans, a company that we used to sell years ago. Uh, we can't get them no more, of course, but uh, yeah, that's pretty, huh? Boy, that's beautiful. Okay, so how, how, what's the done temperature we're shooting for? How do you like your beef? I like my beef medium. That's fine. So what, 145, 150 at the most right. in the center? Now the pork and the, and the turkey, we got, cool. yeah, we got to do, we got to do 160, 165 at least, guys, in the middle. And, uh, and that's just for safety reasons. Look, hey, I'm not telling you what to do. If you wanna, if you wanna have one tartare, you go right ahead. <laughs> tartare. Cousin Eddie, that's right. That's right. So, um, yep, keep turning over the the, uh, the pork and turkey ones right now. And you can see they're a lot of color, but they're still taking on some formalization. Look at that, mm, beautiful. 
It looks like a crab cake. Yeah, boy, if you see a crab cake that big, that come from a big crab. <laughs> grand. <laughs> grand. Ça, c'est grand. So what you want to do now, man? All right. So we have our sauces made. Uh, we're going to have to, uh, we're gonna have to melt some butter. And you know why we got to melt some butter? Why we got to melt butter? Because huh? we got to throw some buns. <laughs> yeah, we do. <laughs> and then we got some Swiss cheese. I got baby Swiss baby cheese. Baby Swiss. I got some sharp cheddar cheese uh -huh. and I got some provolone cheese. We got some we have, feta. We have feta cheese for our Greek burger and we have blue cheese with just to put some on. Because you can. Because we can. That's right. All those sharp flavors are going to help to cut the richness and the fat of the meats. So it's going to be good. We have butter lettuce. We have purple onions. We have caramelizer. I think it's going to be good. It's going to be good. It's let's burger go, time. Well, let's go ahead and throw it to break. We're right. going to prepare some more of these little condiments and stuff like that. When we come back, probably going to be plating, baby. Uh, oh, we're going to be eating. For sure. Be eating. Y'all come back and see this guy. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome back to Grilling with the Guru. I'm Kurt. That's Kevin. He's keep eating avocados. Is what he's doing. You saw how we did that, though. He grilled them. They were hard. They were hard, hard, hard. Head up. Man, look, not hard no more. Look. No, soft yeah, and salt good. and pepper, and he won't quit eating. Mm -hmm. What we got going on the grill? Now look, look. We got our bread. Oh. Look how beautiful. Oh. And the little hamburger buns from Long Lanes. Beautiful. Man. And you buttered them, right? Uh, yeah. Just a little bit of butter. A little bit of butter. It makes it uh, taste little, better. A little crunchy, too. Yeah, a little crunchy, too. Okay. Um, <laughs> yes, you can. You can take your buns and dunk them right in there. And actually, I did that for a couple of them. So, <laughs> um, well, let's go. Let, why don't you interview Kevin, man? Tell him you got a lot of going on in his yeah. life, man. <laughs> Guys, for those who don't know, Kevin doesn't have mics, so I'm going to oh, yeah, love get, up to him like this. Close. I really like him, just not like that. Kevin uh, St. Marie is a fixture in Lafayette. He has he has his hands in everything. He's a fantastic photographer. Whenever he has the next exhibit, if you don't go, shame on you. I'm telling you, the man is phenomenal. But tell him what else you got going, Kevin. Well, I mean, we've done a KD and a hamburger.com since 2001. All about burgers. And that, that was really the, the first site. And, and it was it was really to help people you know, find hamburgers because they were only finding three, it seemed like, out there in the public. And, and there was plenty of good burgers to be had. Yeah, we were going out there finding different burgers and I, w I would run across people and they would say, well, I've been looking for this. Right. And, and uh, you know, we, don't, we have more than three. We actually have about a hundred and, I think, 25 just in, I think, six or eight parishes. So that 125 places to get good burgers. So, yeah, I mean... I literally think that we have the best hamburgers in the world. I, I agree. In Acadiana. I'm not going to disagree. Really, I really I'm do. not going to give me a disagree. From Jennings all the way to Brobridge, all the way to New Iberia. Look at that. So, but you also have what? Captography is the is the Captography is, is, is strictly photography. Right. It was kind of like a take on everyone goes out of town. Right. To see stuff they think is beautiful out of town. Uh -huh. Literally, there are so many people that pay to come here. Yeah. So I would I would look for places in Acadiana that look like other countries. Right, right. So take advantage of right. what we have here. Right. Beautiful place to live. We've always said, and it's not just the basin. It's all around Lafayette. It's We've everything. taken fantastic landscapes at downtown Lafayette, in and around Lafayette. I, actually, at at about 6:30 in the afternoon, after a solar flare. <laughs> About 6:45, behind Adventure Credit Union, right there across the street. Right there, right there on the You can stand in the back and just wait for the sun to go down, and you'll see purples and blues from you know October, November, and mid December. So like, I mean, and, and it's like that in various places throughout Acadiana. You mm -hmm. have Kaplan, Abbeville, New Iberia. I mean, it, it's just randomly as the seasons go. And then you, you also have what uh, Acadiana Live and Local. Well, Live and Local Acadiana. Uh, live and um, Local. It tells people about live music events, festivals, and we do videos and photos to kind of show people why you should want to go. Right. You know, it, yeah, uh, like, some teasers, hey, this is why you want to be right. at, at Blue Moon or whatever. Well, well, why you'd want to go anywhere. Exactly. And there's quite a few people that move here that don't know what to do. They don't know what to do. You know? Yeah. So I, it was just another idea. Fantastic. So you see Kevin's into everything. So visit yeah. his site, yeah. go see his stuff, huh? There's another site called Tastemonial. Testimonial. And it, it's strictly, there are quite a few restaurants in Acadiana that constantly get, you know, you'll have people that will say something negative about the restaurant. And it was a place where I said, this, you have to write something positive. 
Right, right. You don't, you know, and that's that's what that was. About. Bad news travels fast. Good news is a lot slower, but it's, it seems to be more honest. Well, it not every restaurant's always going to be perfect, 100 percent of Absolutely the time. Absolutely not. Absolutely so, but, not. But I don't think anybody comes to Acadiana to open a restaurant to, to have something that doesn't taste good. Oh no, you better bring egg. They, they make something that tastes good. <laughs> and look, when you go to a restaurant and the food's good, that's what you expected. So you're not going to go tell everybody, "Hey, the food was wonderful at XYZ place." That's what it was supposed to be. But when it's bad, that's the news. But what but if you right. force people but, into but it? But what a great idea. Yeah. I mean, if somebody is not from around here and they don't know a whole lot of yeah. friends, they don't have, haven't made friends yet, but they want to go out and have a nice dinner, they can go to your your Facebook site, your website. It's, no, there's Facebook, there's, there's, there's Instagram, Facebook, and website. Yeah, and, and, and get a, a testimonial from not just you, from other people, people who that don't. have gone out there. Right. I mean, that... And there are people in the review, instead of the reviews, right. the review section actually, you have people that say, well, I ate here and I love this. Right. And that's what they do. That's awesome. That's All right, guys. Awesome. Hey, look, we got to go to commercial. Hey, when we do come we? back. <laughs> look at this. Huh? Look at this. Look at French that. Bread. That's what's going to happen. That's what's happening <laughs> when we come crunch back. crunch on that bread. Uh, oh, Lord. Come back, see this guy. Y'all better hurry, too. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome back. Look, we got burgers for days. Okay. Burger. American burgers. We got some Greek burgers. Greek burgers. We got Mexican, Mexican burgers. Mexican burgers. We got burgers and burgers and burgers. I got a little bit of everything. I got I got the turkey burger with the pork meat with some caramelized onions, with some fresh crispy onions, mm. with some beautiful butter lettuce and some grilled avocado with your homemade mayo. God, some dill pickles. Uh, I went Greek. I got the, I got the beef burger, I got caramelized onions, feta, tzatziki sauce, but then I went a little American too because I got some cheddar cheese and some pro and some uh, some provolone on there. What you got, Kev? Well, I'm gonna wind up, I, I basically did, you know, provolone and the other. The Swiss? Swiss. Swiss. And Mixed you put your onions put while it was on the grill. So it doesn't fall off. That's right, he locked them in. That's yeah, a good I'm idea. It's underneath, underneath the meat and above it. And then we're gonna put, I, I, I don't know if we have cucumbers, but I, use, I like these well, I don't know if you want to try that yogurt. So. Yeah. I got, I got a bunch it? in there. Yeah. Well, I don't know about y'all, but uh, hey, I'm going to go ahead and take a bite. bite. That's right. Oh, yeah. Kev, it's, uh, I don't know about you. It's fixing to get crunchy, everybody. I'm Let's looking see. forward to tasting <laughs> I heard you crunch. Good? Right. Using the breadcrumbs keeps the meat very tender and very moist mm. when you get to your final cooking temperature. Look at that. The mm. steam's coming off. Mm. It's delicious. I've never been one for turkey meat, mm -hmm. or turkey burger, should mm -hmm. I say. But that right there, it camouflages. I, I, I think I'm eating a beef burger. I yeah. mean, it has a lot, like you said, a lot of body to it. And meat. a lot of flavor. Right. The turkey and the pork, you only have a 10% fat content total, but you have all the flavor in the world. So health conscious, do you do, every, do, you do a burger a day since you're 10 year old like Kevin? Maybe you do. <laughs> But you can mix it up and go a little lighter if you want. If you want, and do whatever you want, man. These are fantastic, Kevin. Give it. Give I mean, it. it's great. I mean, they're all great. It's all that. good. It's falling and, apart. And that's it. That's a that's a bite right there. That's a yeah. bite right there. I think a good hamburger is one you got to push down like that and smash it just to get it in your it. mouth because it's yeah. so plump. Anyone that knows me knows that I love ketchup. Yeah. Yes. And there is none yet on here, so uh, I, I would always add ketchup. Just yeah. So Nunya. There's Nunya on there. <laughs> and Reagan, Reagan kind of liked it over there. She, she ate that whole good, thing. <laughs> <laughs> you, you, you want me to talk while you finish eating? I'll talk. Go ahead, man. Hey, look, guys, we want to thank Kevin for coming on the show. We want to thank Bobby Longlinay, Longlinay Bread, for the poor boy buns and the beautiful hamburger buns. Absolutely. And, and I tell you what, this is what it's all about, guys. It's about being in your backyard, thinking creatively, something so simple and we overlook it all the time. Everybody wants a barbecue ribs and barbecue smoked brisket and all this other. Do a hamburger. Something so easy, but you can really give it a special twist and let everybody have their own special flavor. Just put all the condiments out on the table and let them basically finish off their own hamburger. Perfect weeknight supper. You looking for something for supper? Don't look any further than ground meat. Ground right. meat, is, you have the perfect meal right and here. And you can do this over charcoal. We did. Uh, we did. You can do it over gas. You, yes. can even, you can even pan, pan sear it in your kitchen, but I don't know if you'd want all hey, that in there. But That's another show. Oh, yeah, you got to go outside. That's right, get outside. Make your next meal your best meal. Thanks, guys.
Y'all come back.